feel like okay, so again, it's pretty straightforward, although there are some things to write out. If both of these functions are linear, then they're both a binomial, something times x plus something else, right? And when you multiply two binomials of the form mx plus b, you get a quadratic with an x squared, an x, and a number, right? Now, if I just had numbers on these, you'd see it easily. Also, if the graph is scaled, we could figure out the slopes and the intercepts, or at least estimate them, right? Of course, I'm going to be asking you to do that. Um, and I've already asked you to do that. I have a question. Sorry? Can I ask a question? Yeah. Um, after you do distribution law, right? Distributing law. You got M2B1X. Yeah. Well, it's B1M2X, right? All right. That's what, that's what I was confused. But that's the same as M2B1X. And I wanted to write it kind of in the same order I did here, although really I didn't with the M, the B, and the X here, but an M, an X, and a B here. But I was trying to keep the order of the M1s and B1s, the M's and the B's, the same for both of these. Okay? See, that's what I'm saying. I, it should, shouldn't it be um, B, B1 times M2X? It is. Okay? Because B1 times M2 is the same as M2 times B1. Put the, X. Just put the X. Yeah, and then you got the X, okay? I just skipped that commutative law step, uh, okay? I can always reverse the order of any two quantities that are multiplied, right? Because uh, it doesn't matter which order you multiply, that's the commutative law.